Hello and welcome to my video blog for day four of the Toronto After Dark um, Film Festival. Um, this was a very busy day since there were um, three film screenings. So um, the first one was a actually one of the world premieres at this year's festival, and it was a uh, Canadian film called um, Silent Retreat, and it's uh, about a girl who is sent to this um, rehabilitation camp where. Um, no one can speak to each other or make a noise, and um, there's um, something wrong going on with um, girls being taken to this cabin nearby, and there's um, some sounds coming from the woods. Um, uh, first, I have to say that it was a shame that the screening was marred a bit by some technical difficulties, which um, stopped the film twice. <laughs> But uh, I have to say that the uh, have to say that the film was at least well made. Um, wasn't the most crazy with the plot, but uh, but it's a good effort. Um, you look and look for my review of that in the, later today. And the um, second film today was the Canadian premiere of uh, Septic Man. And this film is um, directed by um, Jesse T. Cook, who. Um, was the director of the opening film of Turn Off the Dark two years ago, Monster Brawl, and it's um, also written by the guy who wrote Pontypool. And this is pretty much about a um, septic worker who gets trapped in a uh, septic tank and undergoes a horrifying transformation. And it, it's actually a quite disgusting film, but um, I, I, I actually quite dug it. It's um, kind of a body horror film. It uh, Parts of it remind me of Cronenberg's The Fly. And um, it's... I, I enjoyed it. Even though it will make you sick to the stomach. <laughs> and uh, the final film from yesterday is actually a bit of a weird one. It's called um, Motivational Growth. And um, it's pretty much about a agoraphobic man who's Never, doesn't leave his apartment, and he begins um, talking to a mold that has been growing in his bathroom, and uh, there's just some very weird stuff in this film, and uh. <laughs> well, say, well, saying the film is weird is a bit of a compliment. It's an uh, interesting watch, but uh, actually better than the film itself was the Q&A afterwards, which <laughs> was a uh, blast to watch. It's probably the best Q&A of the festival so far, and I... Uh, got some video footage of it, I'll uh, edit together and hopefully have it up later today along with the Q&A for Septic Man. And well, that's it for this blog for right now. Um, today is a bit of a um, slow day for Draw to Dark. Uh, don't think mm, either of these films are high on my list, but I'll mm, watch it. Um, there's, um, Probably the most interesting one would be um, Odd Thomas, which is directed by Stephen Summers, who did The Mummy, and it kind of looks like a John Dies at the End style type film, and then there's a, um, another film today, the title is not on my mind right now, I gotta look it up, <laughs> it's, uh, Solo, that's what it's called, <laughs> so, so it's, um, so, so, uh, I think it was described as Wolf Creek on an island, so we'll see how that turns out. And, well, that's it for today. I'll come back tomorrow.